When you make a screen, one of the first questions will be, how long should the light be on? This is an exposure unit and the light is underneath this hood. So when I turn this on, there's a very intense light. And to answer that question, we need an exposure calculator. Now I have two of them here. I have one from a company called Autotype, and this is their exposure calculator. Basically it's photographic film and it's got these different images on it. There happen to be five images. And as you look at this, you may notice that here you see the image but there's no background image, whereas these others there is a background image and the background image gets successively darker. And above this first one it says 1.0 which means 100% and the one in the middle says 0.5 which means 50%, 25%, 33%, 70%. So the way this would work is you would lay this on the emulsion or capillary film and you would tape it down and you would turn on the light for whatever time you thought was more time than necessary to expose the screen. So if I thought 10 minutes was the right amount of time, I would, just guessing, I would turn the light on for 10 minutes and that means in this first area where it says 1.0 this area would get 10 minutes of light. In the middle where it says 0.5, because of the filter, only half the light goes through. And so that would receive equivalent of five minutes, even though the light was on for 10 minutes. So 0.7, this area, the emulsion receives equivalent of 70% of 10 minutes or seven minutes and so forth on all of them. But the problem with that is five minutes, seven minutes, that's a two minute spread. Where am I? Is it five minutes or is it seven minutes or someplace in between? And you might like to be more precise. And one thing about capillary film, if you watch the uh, video on liquid emulsion, capillary film is very precise in thickness. You can really zero in on your exposure time. Now here's another exposure calculator. This one is by the Ulano Corporation. And again, it's clear plastic photographic film with a dense black image that if you hold this up to the sunlight, no light will pass through the black. And Ulano offers with it a filter. And that filter says 1.0, 0.7, 0 0.5, and so forth, just like Autotype. And so what one would do is uh, lay the two of them together on the emulsion. And again, we'd go for 10 minutes and we would end up with a result when we wash the screen out, we'd say, well, five minutes was not enough light. That five minute image disintegrated. The letters and numbers don't look very good. If I feel the emulsion, it feels like grease. It's not good. On the other hand, 0.7 or seven minutes looks great. So where is the minimum amount of time to get the image of my choice? So with Ulana, what you would do is you would make a new screen, put a new piece of capillary, lay the filter aside, and put just this on the screen, okay? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some object that I know absolutely no light will go through, and I'm going to cover up the exposure calculator. And I would turn the light on, say, for 15 seconds. I can pick any amount of time I want. Let's say 15 seconds. So this gets 15 seconds, and then I turn the light off. And then I move the cover back and I turn the light on for another 15 seconds. So this new area's got 15 seconds. The prior area now has 15 plus 15 or 30 seconds. And then I do it again. So I got 15, 30, 45. And I can keep going right down to the end. In fact, Ulano provides little arrows, which is a guide if I want to use them. Okay, I happen to know from my prior experiment that the time required was more than five minutes but it's not as much as seven minutes. Well, I went 15, 30, 45. I'm nowhere as near five minutes. So when I uncover the last area, I uncover and I expose for five minutes. So now I got five minutes, five minutes, 15 seconds, five minutes, 30 seconds, and so forth. And when I'm all done exposing, I remove the exposure calculator and I take the screen to the sink, spray some water, let the water sit there for two minutes, and then I spray with water, no real pressure. You don't, want water, you don't want a power wash or any real force that would damage the stencil because the, when the water absorbs into that stencil, the water will cause swelling 
You can see it, you can feel it, it breaks the polymer bonds, and then the emulsion that never saw the light, because the light was blocked by the black image, washes right out. And then I'm looking at all these images. Well, five minutes was not a good image, and it's disintegrating. If I feel it, it's greasy. It's, not, it's unsatisfactory. And as I go down the line, I get to a point where I see, gee, that image there looks really good. I like that one. How long was that? And from that point, and any uh, image that took longer, they'll all be the same. So I, at some point, you're going to have a great image, and I want the time, which is the minimal amount of time, to produce that great image. Now, once I know that time, I'm going to get a 3 by 5 card, and I'm going to record three things. First of all, I'm going to record the date that I did the test. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to record what that time was, six minutes or whatever it was. And, and then the third thing I'm going to record is what product was I testing? Because, for example, right here I might have 50 micron capillary film, but in another test I might have a film that's thicker or thinner. And if it's thicker, it's going to take longer. If it's thinner, presumably it'll take less. If I change manufacturers, the exposure time will be different. So uh, you want to uh, know what product it was that you were testing. Now the reason I'm interested in the date is that now that I know the date, every time I make a screen, there's no guessing, I dial right into my time, and everything seems wonderful. Except that some point down the road, maybe it's three months, maybe it's six months, you'll be making screens and you're going to say to yourself, wait a minute, this screen is not as good as they used to be. It's a little underexposed. I don't understand. I'm doing everything according to this card, the way it's always worked in the past. Why is the screen not as good? And the answer is real simple. Lights wear. People don't think of light bulbs wearing, but they do. And proof is you buy that new cool white bulb and you install it in the lamp at home and it's a white bulb, but over time, the light isn't white anymore. It starts to turn yellow. It's not putting as much light out. So when you see that, that that's affecting the um, image, you go back to your card, you cross out the date, you put in today's date, and you go to whatever time you had recorded, extend it by 10%, and you're in business. You'll have great images again. And you keep doing that until someday the light bulb breaks and you start all over again. So that's how you use an exposure calculator, and that's what it does for you. And you will remember, if you watch the liquid emulsion uh, video, you can see on the liquid emulsion, it's dark in the center, light in other areas, so we know the coating thickness is inconsistent, therefore the amount of light required to expose is different depending on how thick the stencil is. And one of the advantages of capillary is that capillary film, that you have an absolutely uniform thickness of stencil, and so you get a repeatability that you don't get with liquid emulsion. So that's the story on exposure calculators. Every shop should have an exposure calculator.